But me and the Lord, we got an understanding. We're on a mission from God. Now this could only happen to a guy like me It only happened in a town like this So may I say to each of you most gratefully As I throw each one of you a kiss Roberts in the house. Say hello to Mark. Mark Roberts? Yeah. Hey, uh, now that would be a guy. Get him to ask a question. Uh, I'd like to, what an amazing young man, man. What a privilege to meet him. So happy. Come on the show, Mark. I sent you the link or ask a question if you want. Barbara, could you uh, do a little quick <laughs> view of the Akashic Records and see if you can connect it to any Sasquatch that has a message for humanity or a message for the pork and bean show or any kind of thing like that. <laughs> okay, sure. Pork and bean show. Sure. Well, you know, they might want to say, uh, you guys stop kidding around. Oh, no, no one's not that. Are you kidding? <laughs> <laughs> All See right. What you can find. Yeah. Let's go. Oh, my God. It's funny. The first thing they're showing, you guys are going to laugh, though. And I just, they're farting. You may be that I'm farting. That's hilarious. They're like farting in a song, like a song. <laughs> You, you know what? Remember the remember the show, the Blazing Saddles show, where they're all farting around the fire. Yeah, I, yeah. I had that in the Pork and Bean show at the uh, 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 on the end credits for a while. Yeah. Okay, let's see where we, if there's a screen behind that though. I mean, if you want that's me, the, that's yeah, a yeah. message for humanity. I love that. That's a message for humanity. A bunch of farts. Keep farting. Yeah, and that's being real, right? It's no bull. It's, <laughs> well, you, you don't you don't want to keep that stuff in there. Uh, that's an important message. Right? Right. Let's just get real here and and. Um, Some so, guys are better at expe uh, expelling it than others. Like Kevin's a master at it. Oh, thank you so much, Brian. <laughs> uh, uh, um, it's letting go. <laughs> <laughs> it's just to let go. Oh, let go! They and they've kind of got it handled. If 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 that step in trust, um, that the trust has been building, and and that that next step in trust is is a is a big step, and it's and it's um, it's already happening. Um, some people are thinking it's outside, uh, and you're like a of carrot in front of the horse, but. Already, it's already in, and and you're already doing it. Are you talking to somebody specifically? Um, did, you, did you say that was yeah, about trust? The, the, the next step is in trust, and mm -hmm. it's already happening. That's what you're saying, right? Yeah, yeah. That's a pretty good message. That's an awesome uh, message. Yeah. You know, I like the farting part a lot, too. <laughs> <laughs> um, trust the farts. 
trust. Well, yeah, trust. <laughs> There's a whole bunch of it. It's, um... <laughs> okay, we're all 12 year old boys here. <laughs> right, right. And it's a. Uh... It's, and it's um, it's not work, okay? It's not that you can get it wrong. You can't get it wrong. So just relax. You you can't get this wrong. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one because a lot of people are striving and searching and hunting and, and worrying about am I good enough and did I do something wrong? Yeah, you can't do anything wrong. Mm -hmm. yeah, really? Except for Brian. I can yeah, Brian. Brian. I can You're the exception to the rule, my friend. <laughs> Brian's the most paranoid experiencer. <laughs> um, and then let's see if there's one little web that's up there. Let's see if that I like. Um, it has to do with fire. Mm. Has to do with what? Fire. Uh, fire? Okay. And um, it's where it's a, a contained fire. Um, and they're showing me that the fire's coming up. There's more fire. So it's kind of in a, a, a warning and a warning in a way to be mindful of the fire prepared for fire is this like uh the world on fire or is your heart on fire or, or what what, are the, what is the feeling it the, the feeling is that they want to us to go in fear because of the fire because it's out of control but really it can be contained i'm i'm not sure i just the reader right so because um, they're showing me a small uh, fire like in a camp and then it gets bigger and it gets big and then it gets out of control and then it sweet, starts to sweep through and the, the people start to go in fear and that fear, that fear, the fear flames the fire. It's like the air, the fear is the air that keeps that fire um, going and where if you can... Uh, just trust them; it'll come back in. Do you is know what there, I mean? It, is fear the fire, or is it an actual fire? It's an actual fire. Okay. But it's the fear that flames the fire. If you like, when you hear a fire in the woods, and everyone yells "fire," and everyone goes into fear, and then it, and our everyone's fear gets connected, and it goes into more fear exponentially, and then the fire gets bigger and bigger, and it's out of control. Instead, if you hear it, fire then everyone comes in on it and relaxes with it and it's only fire michael understands you're gonna have to interpret this michael because i i'm just reading it no i think i can understand it yeah it, 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 the energy is is feeding the fire to grow or to be calm i guess in a, in a way right no uh, it's about it's about all this it's about all the chaos and the evil is coming onto the earth and yeah. as we're oh being God. consumed by it and those who are afraid, like the people who are taking the vaccines and wearing the mask, like they just feed the fire. And those of us who can become cool and just say, well, look, this is all BS. It's not really that big of a deal. It's, you know, so the, the, the cool heads, the, the, uh, the calm, calmer people are going to like, can put, that, put out the fire. But the people who are uh, just pulling their hair out, they feed the fire. And uh, it's it's really the fire is like a real deal because this vaccine is. Well, yeah, we don't want to talk about that, though. I promise, Barbara, we're not we're not going to mention that. We're not mentioning yeah. that. Yeah, you're not going to because you're afraid. She she no uh, any, anyway, but like yeah, but that's what I thought. But you said it was an actual fire. Of course, that's what it is. No, it's an actual fire in the woods. It's a fire in the woods where. Oh, okay. <clears throat> yeah. Fire in the woods. It's like. Yeah. Fire in the hole, like on a ship, and then everyone needs to go to action, and the best action is to stay calm. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. I don't know. Yeah. Some and subjects are so touchy, you know, and, all, and so polarizing mm -hmm. that I just think that, you know, like I would just tell people, like, uh, just be alert, be aware, and leave it at that. 
you know, but, you but, keep but, your but, eyes but, open. Uh, so anyway, but, any more but, questions? But, but, what's that? Okay. Well, it's trust that we have so much power within us, we can change all of this. And wow. so it's where... Mm -hmm. Oh, you want to hear a funny story? You want to hear a funny story? Though I mean, it's not actually funny. It actually was quite, it was quite shocking to me. And it is kind of in that vein, but it's kind of got, a, it just got a, a, well, I don't know if it's funny or not. But I was in a lineup uh, at the store the other day. Oh, I thought you were going to say a lineup at the store. You know, like when they arrest someone. <laughs> no, no, I was in, a, in and up here they got these little circles where you know, like social distancing or whatever. So I think mm -hmm. I was like a foot or something. Of, beyond the line and some old some old guy turned around and yelled, he just like freaked on me and i just whoa so I, I went back there and then um i i just had to say it and, and mark was with me too and he heard me say it and i said sir you know that fear is the is is, is the real virus don't you and he just go oh, crazy motherfucker yo out of your mind and he just went but berserk on me and i just okay and i went out on my way but and then today i was in mcdonald's getting coffee or whatever and there were people wearing masks and there were a lot of people that weren't which was surprising but the thing was is everybody even the guy that was wearing the mask or whatever i could feel him smiling in the conversation with me be everybody was like in a whole different attitude like you know that you know so it was uh I went. I walked out of there, and I thought, "Wow, that was cool, man." Everybody got along. Nobody was judging anybody. Mm -hmm. You know, I could feel the smile and the warmth of the guy who was talking to me behind the mask. We were having a good conversation, right? So, very, very polarizing subject to say the least. And, yeah, probably best not to. Yeah, let's not go too far. You yeah. have more questions, anyway. Yes, go ahead. And Teresa has been waiting a long time, actually. Okay. So uh, let's do Teresa next, man. She's been waiting for a long time. That's what yeah. I said. <laughs> I think we should do Teresa right now. What do you think, guys? I don't know. Teresa? Teresa A. Martin. Teresa. Okay. Teresa, Teresa Martin. Okay, we're ready. Boom, bring it. All right. Teresa Martin asks, do I have a Sasquatch friend or companion that visits? I always wonder if I do and thought I did, but then it can be forever, months and months, before I get any kind of sign. Do you get a name? That's two questions, but we'll give it to you. Okay. Um, the first name I, I get, I don't get names very often, but it starts with an A, and that's the best I can do with that. I'm not sure what the A is, but it starts with A. She knows what that it, it, it is. She knows what that is. Um, I can relate to that, where they're there, and then they're not there for so long. Um, part of it is you're building trust and patience with them. And as soon as you let go of the expectation is when they come. Um, but you have to, and I don't, it just comes this way. It's not, okay, you must, you know, it's like you um, make room for us in your life. You have a, like a really busy life and you're just go, 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 do, 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 create, make, manifest, blah, 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 blah. And, and just, just spend some time where, you hang out with them, where you're like just uh, talking with them, like talk to them, like when you're, you know, at home alone and hey, you know, Sasquatch, I really would love for you to be more in my life and, and be a part of my life and uh, help guide me and um, help me grow and change and, and I would really, really appreciate it. And I mean, you could start off every day with that, and it wouldn't probably take long before you had some kind of a transition. But it's all on, it's all, uh, it's all up to them too, but also you play a part in it. Um, so you, it's, I guess the words would be you taking responsibility for your relationship with Sasquatch. Okay. I got a, I've got a question here from Joe F. here. Um, Actually, he's the uh, the guy that joined uh, joined us uh, for the camping the other day. Mm -hmm. He says, hi, everyone. Good to see you again, BB. I guess that's me. My question to Barbara Jean Lindsay is this. I think I have something in my home. Can you tell me what it is? Okay. And what's his name again? Joe Ethier. E-T-H-I-E-R. Joe Ethier. Yeah. It's something like in the back corner. 
of the house. It's, it could be a little dark. Um, and so it's from whoever was there before you. So I don't, and you, I'm sure you saved your house and, and, uh, but I would suggest that you, uh, you have uh, seniority over that energy because you have a body in the third dimension and it doesn't. It wants to tell you that it has, uh, it has priority over you or seniority over you. And it doesn't, you have seniority over it. Um, there's a part of that, it's because you're learning how to stand in your power, not only on this dimension, but many dimensions. And so it's like, you know, where you, you can, you know, in the mudra, the Jesus mudra, where you can cast that out of your house, you know, it's like, thou shall not pass, you know, like that. And it's, it's not big. Uh, it would like to be bigger. You're not going to allow that to happen. And by acknowledging it changes it. Um, so that's the first energy I see. And I see for you, if you can, um, you know, where you sage, where you close uh, uh, all your windows and turn on every single light in your house. And then when you sage your rooms, either with a sage or sweet grass or flat-sided cedar uh, and use a feather of, that has uh, um, uh, that you have a relationship with, or you know, like a for you, I see a swan feather. I don't know why it might be an English connection. I'm not sure, but it's where you um, then kind of take the corners of the rooms and and then kind of spiral a circle and then and then do that with all the rooms and then ground the whole house. We're just going to do this while we're talking, kind of giving you a house healing right now. And I know this maybe not be the whole question. So that's okay too. So you're just gonna take it all down and um, and ground it, and just take the whole energy down and ground it. And I like to say today's date is uh, March. Is it the 13th? March 13th, 13th yeah. 2021. And and this is my holy ground. This is my space. And then I stamp it, so you kind of seal it with your energy. This is my sacred space. This is my holy ground. And then I go ahead then and I open all the windows and all the doors just for a moment and let the energy move. And then I close the doors, close the windows, and then I can turn off the lights. But um, it's a way to, to really own your space. And we grow and change, you know, exponentially. And so does our environment. So sometimes our environment doesn't uh, catch up with where we are at the time. Um, so that's the first energy I see. And I'm not sure if that's the energy you're talking about. And the second part is where um, Sasquatch just hangs out with you. I just see a male Sasquatch. He's showing me, you're going to laugh, but he's like a lawn chair with an umbrella and, and you know, with some music and he likes the sunglasses. The very cool uh, Sasquatch that uh, to remind you to that he's just with you if you ever need him. He's hanging with you. Can I? Uh, mm -hmm. uh, Go ahead. Can I ask a question? Because I was Joe was like I said was uh, on the trip with us, or on, on our little camping thing with us, and I saw the Sasquatch. I mean, I, I, I undoubtedly know what went on, but mm -hmm. I, and I and I was explaining it to him. But I want your perspective on it. Sure. Um, you know, this happens all the time, and I saw them working with Joe, and I, maybe you can give him some insight onto into it as well he was saying i need a so we're around the fire and he, he said i need a fire stick okay as soon as he said that he saw a fire stick leaning up against the stump right directly behind him and mm -hmm. yeah it's a campsite and somebody could have left the stick there but i don't think it it doesn't work like that and and he, they, he so they, they were introducing him to some stuff and if he can put that those dots together or whatever um, that's a good step right so yeah yeah can you talk on yeah. that yeah, it's where he's learning um, to be able to be, the, uh, the, this is the guy I just gave the reading to, right? Yes, he was just camping with us. Yeah, it's where um, he really is learning how to be interdimensional, and that's what they're working with him with, right? Where thought goes, energy flows, but also where thought, and it is, boom. And that's what he's working on right now. This is He's at that level where you think it, and it is. Yeah. And as I was telling him about it, I said, and you know, the thing is, is that it's not even important if the stick was already there. 
because they would have already known what you were going to think before you thought it. So they could have already had it there. That really doesn't play into it. Exactly. Yeah. I guess we, yeah. Here's how it does play into it, is it makes it real to the body. Mm -hmm. We forget that sometimes in all of our work and everything, but some we're bringing these bodies along with us in, the, in this dimension. And so that stick being there made it real to the body. Okay, so... Yeah. So, and I'm going to ask this for Joe too, because he's a good friend of mine now. I mean, we had a nice connection. So what are the, what are the Sasquatch asking for Joe? What do they want him to do? He wants to reach out to them and he's saying he's not feeling he's doing it. Or he's not connecting. He's, he's just beginning. What, what, what would you suggest? What do they want him to do? Clear, it's, he's, he's trying too hard. Right. You can't, you can't buy this, which he knows, and you can't study it. You, know, you can't, you can read all the books you want on it, but right. with good, all that he has, so much information, um, and that's all good. But we're talking experience, and it'll work when it's right for him, and he has to trust that. And there's a, a patience part with that too. It's almost like, for what I see with him, he's already done it. And came back, and it's just stepping into it. Mm -hmm. Since, but he's he's already done all. He's made. He's already created all that he wanted to create with them and achieve with them. And he's now he's come back, and he's just starting to walk into it. And that is that he can relax. It's already done. He doesn't have to really do anything. Just show up. Yeah. Yeah, and with the heart. From meeting him, what you said is exactly like perfectly bang on. Yeah, it's you got to get past the research part and get into the heart part. That's but the, you're the mentor of that. It helps him being with you because you relax him. You tell him everything's going to be okay, and it is. All right. I don't know why he should trust you, but he does. You know. <laughs> yeah, hey, Bob, I have a question. Sure. Well, thanks. That was interesting, Beans. So moving on. Go ahead. <laughs> so he doesn't listen. <laughs> uh, the, the question is this. You're psychic, right? And, and one of the things you do is you give readings. And in your readings, you meet many different kinds of beings, Thank from you. Sasquatch to interdimensional to off-world people to elementals. Could you, could you rank uh, like Sasquatch... How, how they are in relationship to some of these other uh, supposedly high beings like the angelic or the or the higher orb people or you know whatever can you can you kind of give us a little overview of, uh, of abilities yeah i i for me i would think that they're in the extreme most high if that's what i would call them the extreme most high the extreme uh, most high of psychic power and abilities yeah yeah, yeah. Exactly. Um, not only I that, totally they, agree. they they have a they have such a uh, extreme, minute knowledge of how the body, the the human avatar body works, um, much more than what we have an idea. Of. And part of the work is helping us remember, but not even remember. It's like we're a kid trying on, you know, we're trying to ride a bicycle, you know, and they're helping us with, with these avatars. They know so much that um, they're so, I always say that with them, they're so patient with us. <laughs> we're, but we're also, we're, we're um, innocent, open, creative, and um, such potential, right? that sits within us that um, that's why they're with us because we, it, it, and this is something that I learned when I had the near death experience and it might sound cliche or something, but that, you know, we are love. We come from love. Uh, we return to love and we never die. Um, and that um, the work with us is to, um, it's like we're so different than their bodies, but we're so alike. We just have a different body that we're having this um, experience in. So it's almost like 
uh, the future with them is that we can jump from this human body into that um, Sasquatch body, okay. right? And learn how it works and how it uh, resides not only here, but uh, multidimensionally, if okay. that sounds too esoteric. Yep. No, that sounds pretty good. I, I, uh, my feeling, my, uh, one of the things I say often is about who the Sasquatch are, is I call them Archangel class Earth spirits. So I was wondering if that fits with your description. It, it does because um, they have such a love for this planet. And a lot of us that are working with Sasquatch come in with such a love for this planet. And that's where we meet. Well, and not only that, if they start working with you, at least this is my experience. I mean, I may have had a love for this planet, but my experiences with them, like, amp that up a thousandfold. I mean, I would not have called myself a tree hugger by any stretch of the imagination before my interactions and experiences with mm -hmm. my Sasquatch clan. But afterwards, as it progressed, my love for nature, my love for the, the beings that are out in those woods, um, grew exponentially. Um, and actually, I have hugged trees now. I mean, yeah. literally, <laughs> which is not me. Yeah. And you have a real relationship now. Oh, like, absolutely. A deep relationship. And I think that's why after my NDE, I worked with the First Nations. It, they never lost that. They've, they've had it and they've held that fire for that the whole time. And that's where they work also with Sasquatch. They've never lost that relationship with Sasquatch. Do we have time for a question from me, actually? Just to, oh, is, sure. I'm hoping it'll be a quick one. So I don't open... take as much time as you can. Yeah, Kevin, Kevin, <laughs> hang on a second. Can oh, I, I I want to get down to you and extensively, but can no, I just ask a, can I just ask a question? Bolinsky. Stop Bolinsky. Hold on a minute. Okay, I'm sorry. No, you're not, but but you always, sorry, try to make, you always try to make you seem like you're sorry. I know it annoys you when I interrupt you because it annoys me when you interrupt me. <laughs> well, that's why I do it. But no, I, but, but a new member had a quick question, and then, and then we'll get down to Kevin, and you can ask me. Oh, I'm going to ask Kevin first. I'm sorry, your person has to wait. Okay. He's, but he's new. He's brand new. He's I'm glad. Okay. I, okay. Really welcome that person. Thank you so much. But I want to do Kevin now. So is that okay? I am a guest, or uh, well, you're going against. <laughs> I the team. Provide you. You're going against I, gave, the I gave you. I told you how to do it in the beginning. Let's Whenever see. Brian or I talk, you just keep talking. Have you ever heard of the movie? Have you ever heard of the movie The Emperor of the North? No. Well, keep talking. The, the, the keep talking. title says everything. You defy the Emperor of the North. Go ahead, talking. Barbara. <laughs> <laughs> well, that is Go ahead. Right. Go ahead. Okay. Well, look at that. Tell them to hold on. Don't yeah. go in. Whoever this, what's that person's name? The person. Well, no, then you're going to go into it. I'll tell you after yeah, you give sure. Kevin. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to hold the space for him. Okay. His name is a new member. He just joined. And his okay. name is Rick Scholes. Hi, S C O L E S. Okay. Well, you're next. You're next, dude. You're next in the loop, dude. Yeah. So hold the energy for our dear Kevin. Forget Kevin, it. did you have a question? Yes. I, you know, I have a ton, but I have one that's really been pressing on my mind for okay, a long time. Thanks, so April, Kevin. That was awesome. So now, <laughs> Excellent. On April 22nd, I had open heart surgery. Wow. And in the process of coming out of open heart surgery, mm -hmm. um, I was still completely out. Mm -hmm. And... I had a conscious vision of being surrounded by about, I think, either six or seven angels or beings of light. Mm -hmm. And I was being enveloped in, like, love and peace. Exactly. And they were, I had this strong sense of being cared for, at least my consciousness was being cared for while this, this earth suit was being worked on. Exactly. So my question for you was, before I went in to surgery, I was scared, as I'm sure you can imagine. And I asked my Sasquatch clan to watch over me, mm -hmm. to take care of me. Mm -hmm. 
And then my wife also prayed at the same time that God's angel armies would be surrounding me and protecting me. Mm-hmm. So my question comes, what or who were those beings? I don't know. I, I want to think they're either my Sasquatch brothers or angels, but I'm going to. Yeah, um, I get they're a group of beings that are um, like your, your ancient ones. Mm. They're like from your family lineage for, for eons. And then there's a part of the Sasquatch group. And then there's a part of, of more of a, a future part of you because you're a, for the words I get are a future generator. You're a generator for future um, thoughts, future, um, um, and there's spirals, future spirals. I'm not sure exactly what that is. But the work they were holding your soul, right? This group of beings. And who are they? Um, um, I'm not good with names, but it's where their work with you was to remind you of your, you know, your holiness, your sacredness, you're a part of all of all that is, right? So it's like they're expanding your consciousness uh, way out there, right? Mm -hmm. you know, divine is so huge. And it just, you get to, and the only way you could do it was to be outside your body to get it, right? And so then it starts to come back compressed um, and then in, and then bring it back down into the body and make it real to you. So you'll be getting, um, you have all the information that you need to do the rest to complete the rest of your life's work. Right, yeah. which was, I, I want to talk to you privately, actually, because there's a lot of stuff that I would love to cover. Yeah, I would love to do that. Yeah, you're, um, you've got um, a new, a whole new uh, life within a life. I would agree with that mm-hmm. wholeheartedly, and it's actually all due to the Sasquatch. Yes, yeah. My clan... Yeah. I don't know if you know anything about my story, but it's been pretty. Well, I, I know nothing, but I, <laughs> and I, you know, I've never seen this before with the Sasquatch, but it's like a king Sasquatch. I don't know if there is such a hierarchy at all or anything like that, but this one has a crown. So I don't know if you recognize the Sasquatch in my picture here. Oh, wait, let me look. Yeah. This, this I believe, is my clan leader. He is literally between. 12 and 14 feet tall, mm-hmm. enormous. He yeah. allowed me to accidentally catch, well, I accidentally caught him on film or on my, on my while well, I was taking a video. Um, they set up a, actually kind of a treasure hunt for me uh-huh. and left me all sorts of clues. And he was watching me, he and another little being, uh-huh. um, which is probably less than two feet tall, right. um, were watching me as I was discovering this. Well, I decided to, to video it. And I caught about three seconds of him and this little guy, this other little guy. Um, I never knew they were there. And they actually showed me. I wasn't even going to look in the video for that. I don't do that. That's mm-hmm. not what I was doing. I was videotaping their clues. I, I had no intention of looking for him. He showed me he was there. Um, anyway, so I don't know if this is actually my clan leader or not. But mm-hmm. he is big. And I don't know if he is. And if you have any feelings on that, I'd love to hear it. Yeah, um, well, going through your heart and to him is like one, definitely like a oneness, definitely there. Um, and it's interesting because his eyes are like one eye, too. And it's like um, where he really works is in that third eye with you. Yes. That's, that's exactly where he works. And you're in agreement to having him there. And you're going to do a lot of work there. Okay, so, excellent. Mm-hmm. Oh, excellent. Thank you. That actually answers <laughs> a big question. Okay, cool. cool. One of the things he did while on video was all of a sudden you saw his pineal gland area start to emit an energy. Yeah. And he, he swirled out of existence with, right. um, with, the little, with the little person that was with him as well. Yeah, yeah, a little leprechaun, dude. I don't, oh, do you know? Okay, so I don't know what that little person was, but he was. That was it, okay, go ahead. That was surreal. 
I mean, he, I wasn't freaked out by him and he's, you know, 14 feet tall. Right. But the little guy the little freaked me out. Well, the little dude is very powerful. I believe okay. you. I know nothing extreme, about him, though. Extreme power. And um, I say leprechaun because that's the only word I have. But it comes from your your bloodline. Really? Yeah. From your, it's either Irish, Scottish, but it's a, it's something to do with your bloodline having to do with magic. You're able to manifest like that and you came in with that and it's part of his work with you and see I'm getting you can't say this shit but but I'm gonna say it so <laughs> <laughs> um and it's where you know where you're with that very kingdom you're you you know it you breathe it you're a part of it and that's where we're changing all of that as well and it's um his work with you um, you're with that very kingdom, you're, uh -oh. you, you know it, you breathe Brian, it, you're, you're, you're part of it. And, there you go. <laughs> um, but it's a, it, um, it has to do a relationship with you and the earth and the Sasquatch, but also a connection in a whole different way at the same time. And it's having to do with time itself. Because see, you were able to be exist out of time. So when you came back in, you're outside the matrix. So when you come back in, you're not, you're not, you you don't have to live by the, any of the laws that are here. Does that? I hope that makes no, sense. That, you have no idea how relevant and how much that makes sense. <laughs> because that is exactly where my thought process has been. That's where they've been working with me, and I struggle with my belief in that area oh, no. because um, my, my my training is as a mechanical engineer right mm -hmm. my training is in the rational logical right. see, touch taste smell and then what's they've been working with me on is the intuitive the right. Um, right. energy and the the whole other no time exactly no time exactly um so yeah thank you no. I'm gonna talk, so I'm going to instant message you or use message yeah, or yeah. whatever, and yeah, I'm yeah. going to set something up with you because I really want to talk a little bit more. Yeah. I don't want to, I don't want to take right. up this. Right. Just make, uh, when people come to me for readings, I just ask them to make a list of their questions from practical to out there. And then we jump off with that and we can get a lot of work done really quick to help you then take those next steps. Um, okay. Wow. Yeah. That was so relevant. I can't even tell you. <laughs> Kevin, I want to. I wanted to remind you that you know when she was saying about you had these beings around you who are opening you up to your, you know, your divine self, your cosmic self, and you actually had a foretelling of that when you came on the show with your halo. Oh yeah. <laughs> that was a foretelling of what. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? It's, that it's that was a funny, you know, my angelic self. You know. Yeah. <laughs> And well, I'll just say one more thing and I'll let you go, Kevin. Some of us are here just to bring joy. And that's okay. And I, I won't make you cry, so I'm not going to, we won't go real deep right now. But that's, that's wow. Really you again, you have no idea what you just said. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is, um, uh, yeah. I'm really looking forward to our conversation. Let's put it that way. And, and some of us are here just to irritate people. <laughs> yeah, BB. Hey, man. We all got to have our specialty, right? <laughs> <laughs> you you you, yeah, we thought you could sing something for us, Brian. Yeah, you got a great voice. Hey, no, I'm not doing anything for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's like Are that, is it? Special I'm, songs. Hey, but wait a minute. We got to get down to Mr. Skull's question. Rick Skull's. Oh, right. Right. Thank you for being so patient. <clears throat> what was the question again? I don't have it brought up. Oh, I was trying to I, find I, that I left, I'm sure. But. I, I do. Rick, is, Rick Skull's is asking if he has a Sasquatch guide. It's a, a very simple question. A Sasquatch guy or guide? Guide. guide. Sorry, it wasn't very clear. <laughs> it's okay. 
Well, his Sasquatch shows me uh, him uh, playing a piano. And so um, the guy comes, the Sasquatch comes through with music, uh, uh, creative music. <laughs> He's, you're going to laugh, though. His Sasquatch is kind of jazz on the soft side. <laughs> that is. I love that. <laughs> um, and it comes through when he opens a certain window in his home where he lives. There's a certain window, and he knows the window that the Sasquatch comes through. And it kind of like it comes through one side, kind of goes through him and goes out the other side. So that's how he can make it more real to him is um, when he does that, when he comes through and he knows what I'm talking about. Um, and his Sasquatch in, I, you know, um, he loves the smell of coffee. He just loves the smell of coffee. So it's almost, even if you don't drink coffee, but this, I just see the Sasquatch really likes the smell of coffee. Um, and if he wants more of a relationship with them, he it's through smell with him, through the this coffee smell. And I think that's where he, um, where when you lift your mug, it's either tea or coffee, but I'm really getting coffee that it makes you happy and joy. It's, oh yeah, I could tell my, you know, my morning ritual of this, you know, the coffee and, um, and when he's drinking it, it's like he drinks the Sasquatch. Oh, oh, that's kind of kind of cool. That is kind of cool. So it's kind of fun. That's how he that's how he comes in. So that's why wow. that's why Brian drinks so much coffee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, do you guys want to see that glyph quickly? Are we yeah. done with um yep. with is Joe done? I mean not Joe, uh, Mr. Scholes, was it? Oh yeah, just yeah, well, we got a lot more. more for him. Do you have we got a lot more. more. We got uh, all kind of people. Yeah, we have a lot of questions, Brian. So it's not just okay. Well, no, we, okay, then we will. If I have time at the end, I'll show it to you. Go ahead with the questions or first. Okay, yeah. I'm going to take a quick break. Is that okay? Cool. Yeah. Like quick break. Okay. If we, I wish, if okay. we only had an intermission video. Yeah. If I'll tell you what. If only. If and she only has had an intermission video where we could advertise, like Barbara, and you know. <laughs> Pork and beans show. I'll that bring. I'll so bring. Great. Go I'll ahead. Bring, I'll, I'll, I'll bring the glyph up. Yeah, be right the glyph up during your break. Let me just bring this up while she's having a break, and we can. I'll show you what. Uh, this is what the Ravens were looking at me. Watch. I got to put the screen share. Perfect. Screen share. Yeah. It's uh, not working. Hold on. <laughs> Oh, okay. That's the same oh. one you already had. Already had this one behind you, right? Here we go. Can you see that? There's nothing showing. Oh, there it is. So that's what I was led to, and uh, you can see it, right? Yeah, that's beautiful. Yeah, so that's big too. I mean, as you can it's see, it's a parking you know, lot. It's a parking lot glyph. It's uh, right by the entrance to uh, one of the forest entrances but uh the a i know but then there's that little new, new nuance that little curve piece and you know on top of the um the vertical yeah the vertical piece that that's curved in that's new and then that little the uh, little the way the a has two ends on one end too so there's a new message there and look at the feathers in there check that out there was a yeah. whole, about a dozen feathers oh, yeah. I see. Him. Yep. And they're they're really small, and they were like. Uh, and I said, I hope you didn't kill a uh, bird for me, guys. But anyway, <laughs> but uh, I hope they just plucked them or something. But anyway, there was a bunch of feathers. But so, like as I said, as I'm talking to uh, Mark on the phone, and looking at this, <clears throat> suddenly I look over, and there's the raven looking right at me, man. And there's just that knowing, like, uh, yes, I'm looking at you. You, we, we're letting you know we're, that you're looking at what we made, kind of, you know, all that connection. Which way, which way was the ra raven? Was it to the right or to the left of the photo? To the right. Well, if it's to the right, then that little, then that little cross one is is makes the A into an eyeball looking right. That's what that little that little wow. curve was. Well, yeah, you know what? Maybe you're right. But anyway, so, right. Like anyway, this way. I thought like I would slip that in while Barbara 
was uh, gone. But anyway, so that's that's what they left me. And uh, we're mm-hmm. going to have Mark on the show in uh, three weeks, and I'll get in delve into the whole story deep uh, deeper. And plus, I'm making a video of it because I recorded. Uh, you know, we were talking about it while we were going through it. So anyway, I'll get out of that, and we'll let get back to the questions. Okay, Kev. You're okay. Up. Um, so this one's from Mark Roberts. And he says, I constantly hear they like toys for their children. Do you feel they want me to give or to gift toys more often? I usually gift them snacks, marbles, trinkets, and such. I try to gift them often. Do you feel this, Barbara? Yeah, it's like um, they like, you know, the first thing I'm getting is like a bell, like a little teeny bell of something that has um, music in it. Um like a little teeny silver bell of course that would be the, the fairy kingdom as well but but it's a um the first thing is little bells and um i know this sounds really weird but bubbles <laughs> no why but but bubbles um it's like they found on when they the one of the sasquatch clan there they like the bubbles so that's interesting hmm. um and so um if they like the way that he lays them out because he lays them out with such care and beauty they they accept his art form so Mm -hmm. uh, when they uh gift him back um it's also in a um uh, the same vibration that he gives is the same vibration that he receives back. Interesting. That is cool. Well, that makes perfect sense. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it, 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 as a matter of fact, it would be ludicrous in a way if it wasn't that way. When you think about it. Yeah. yeah. And it's kind of, it's almost like their higher vibration each time uh, they exchange a gift, mm-hmm. their vibration back is higher. So when he gives back, it's higher. They give back, it's higher. So it's like, and then it goes from stacking, um, then it goes to circle. And then from circle, it goes to spiral. Wow. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> hey, you got to come up here and join us all for a camp out. I'm going to. And soon. Oh, and, uh, and uh, you know we'll get Kevin up here and uh, our, yeah. our friend Laurel and uh, and the whole gang, and we'll just blow the doors right off the. You no, know, we've oh. been trying to get together since when, Brian? Was it twenty? Since, since I planned the first one, and uh, and uh, you know plans went awry, but whatever. Yeah, we'll all we'll all get do it one uh, time, even sure. if we have to be uh, cr- criminals and build yeah. tunnels or something. I always <laughs> like playing outside the rules, you know. <laughs> That's where the fun is. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, any more questions there, Kevin? Um, I'm, I'm looking through. Uh, Tony Maples is asking um, if Barbara can tell him anything about his clan, this Sasquatch that he interacts with. Okay. Huh. What he's showing me, and it's really funny, is the clan has an earring, like a little <laughs> A, a small loop, um, and that is to when he wants to uh, talk with him, communicate. It's where he just kind of uh, plays with his ear or twists his ear or something to do with his ear. It's almost like the mother of the clan, you know, like where you take a kid who's not behaving sometimes in the old days, and you would take him by the ear. Uh, it's kind of like, but it's a loving gesture. Is the ear where they they pull. Uh, very gently on his ear or they'll actually take it and kind of rub his ear <laughs> that is but that's what they're showing me and it's uh the mother of the clan that he's that shows that that's kind of like the initiation of acceptance into the clan and i do see a whole clan there um i see two boys one girl of uh, um, a mother and a father and maybe another another woman as well, another female um, Sasquatch as well, more like the grandmother. Uh, his relationship is more the most with the grandmother. 
um, and she's helped him um, since he was a, a, a real small boy uh, to retain uh, and um, keep his uh, compassion because um, uh, he's had some, you, you, I'll talk to him directly. They're saying, talk to him directly, okay. Um, that you've had um, some real deep experiences uh, and that um, no matter how small you became, um, they kept you alive in a way where uh, you didn't totally turn, you totally didn't die, that you, they kept you alive, basically. And so you've really done a really good job of, of coming way out of that. And they're showing me like a full lotus. So that makes them really happy, especially the grandmother. Um, and it's with, um, I don't know, it's not a, I want to almost say like a magnolia tree. And I don't think they have magnolia trees in the forest, but something to do with a magnolia. magnolia and I'm not sure what that is. Okay. You have to let me know. Interesting. A lot of times I do readings, I never hear from the person again for a while. And, and so I never know. It's kind of fun doing this show because I can get some feedback. I usually don't. You, you've been 100% awesomeness on this show. For oh, absolutely. 100%. 100% awesomeness. Uh, any, more, any, more, any more questions there, Kev? Yes, there's there's one more. Okay. Um, from you better, you better, hold on. I want to I want to uh, admonish people. You better start asking questions because I'm trying to not get any myself involved in it at all to show beans that I'm better than him. <laughs> but if, if we don't get any more questions, I'm going to have to. So, <laughs> so Brian... Brian, I got to tell you, I think that you are, if we were to give you a grade on not getting involved at all, it's around, around a C. We're not, we're not in the A room yet. There's room for improvement, my friend. No, but, 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 I'm, but I'm, I'm, I'm trying not to have, like, tell me about me, tell me about me, because but, but, Beans is already weakened to that. So I'm trying not to involve that part of the thing. I know okay. I'm rude. I mean, we already know that. <laughs> But uh, okay. but if people don't ask questions soon, I'm going to have to do that. They're asking. They are asking questions. Don't worry. Okay, let's go a hard for time it. Keeping up. Keep these questions okay. going. So yeah, give me some feedback. I'd like some feedback. I never get that. Oh, okay. We want your awesomeness. Well, oh. let me just say that there's. We've been moving so fast with the questions. There has been feedback, and most of them are saying spot on, beautiful. Thank you very Thank much. You. Right. Sending much I, love and light. I, I am going to ask you one question, though, at one point. I'm going to ask you to get Ari involved and let him talk. To Tony everybody. Maple says, boy, oh, it all. Holy yep. smokes. Big energy rush. So at, at, at some point, you're going to have to let Ari come through and talk to everybody in the group and what you're saying. I would love go to ahead with the questions. Oh, man, am I getting energy rush. Just okay. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Me too. Yeah. All right. So now I got to scroll back up because. Okay. So Stacy Johnson Emmons asks, "Do the forest people and or Fay have a message for me?" Mm. So Stacy Johnson Emmons. She likes to wear hats, and she must wear hats. <laughs> that it that the hats are her joy, and she looks really amazing in hats, and uh, she should have a variety of hats. Uh, depending on her personality, of how she feels in the day, uh, a hat collection. Um, I also see she would make a great milder where she has been a hat maker in the past. Um, and um, a craft, a craft she likes working with her hands and she's very tactile and um, you love beauty. And, um, and I just see hats for you is really cool. And hats, the, the one that you're showing me is a really cool hat that's very artistic. Um, and, and what you like is that really fine netting. That it's, you know, like when the old days in Victorian days when the women would ride on the horse's side saddle, they have that hat with that little bit of netting. And that's the picture you're showing me as you're riding a horse in a very proper way with uh, a side saddle and this beautiful hat with this, beautiful little drop kind of a, a veil yeah it's a veil so um 
So if you like veils on your hats, you no, know, you know, you can just wear them around the house. No one else to see you in it, but there's a part where it gives you a lot of joy to play in that uh, costume um, uh, fabrics and your environment. It's really important to have beauty and fabrics and textures and colors. And uh, you're an artist. You have an artist eye and, um, and you were born that way. Okay. So yeah, they're, they're right there. I don't know if I answered the question, but um, uh, that's how you bring them more into your um, sacredness is by expressing that part of you that's uh, very ultra uh, creative um, with them. And they help, they help, um, you know, give you ideas of make it pink, make it blue, you know, whatever it is, something like that. So, and, and also you're showing me that it, when you're having your hat, so you must have tea. So, so it's kind of a high tea party as well. Stacy's asking some clarifying questions. Okay. She says, like a literal hat or I wear many different hats in my life. So are we talking metaphorical or literal? Uh, both. Okay. And she says, I don't wear hats usually, but I do like different crafts. Yeah. Just her feedback, that's all. Tell her to try on a hat. <laughs> it's, so it's, you tell her. She's, yeah. she's listening to you. Okay, Stacy. Just try it. It's like it's it's uncomfortable. The hats are gonna bring you something. I'm it's gonna give you permission to play and to to create in a in a different way. You're really good at what you do, but this is a creative, joyful craft play with hats. And it it could be not only a hat for you, but for other people um, um, and for children. So. She says, thank you. I, I love it, LOL. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I want to see a picture of one of her hats she makes. <laughs> you get all this stuff and she doesn't know what the heck you're doing. But just if you start it, it's like when you build it, they'll come. It's kind of like when you start it, it all starts it all starts evolving itself. So it's, it's, it's fun. It's something to do for fun, not for work. You know how to work. Now you're learning how to have fun and you actually have to learn it. Just before the next question, mm -hmm. uh, you know, when I uh, put the thought out there that we're gonna let our speak or whatever, I was actually, oh, I got, I couldn't get the uh, effects off, but I was actually having tears rolling down my face. It was so, Powerful. Nice. So continue on. So, okay. So that's actually the last question for now. So I think this is a great time for Ari to come through. Okay. Okay. Let's bring the big man on because, uh, you know, Tony Maples. he's, uh, oh, Tony Maples has one. No, he I just, just said thank you. To, no, Barbara Jean Lindsay said she likes to hear feedback. <laughs> and uh, see if I can find him now. First Tony, first, first, Tony Maple says, nailed it. Second, Tony Naple, Maple says, oh, my God, the tree. Third, boy, she nailed it all. Four, I've been a skeptic of the powers of seeing, but she is remarkable. Five, the tree is from my dream of two trees. Six, mother tree was magnolia. And, uh, <laughs> I think that's it. And then the last one he says was, thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah, it sounds like a coincidence oh, to me. Absolutely. Well, that's your feedback. Yeah. I mean, anybody, oh, could, I anybody could have come up with that. <laughs> <laughs> Is there any more questions <laughs> up on the plate right now? No. Okay. Is it the right time to bring our read <laughs> for a message? But uh, guys, uh, you know, you know, we, we can have pee breaks and whatever too. I'd like to go to Barbara, a Barbara, do, do I read? Because if you don't do I read, he's going to be interrupting every five minutes about Absolutely. I read. So okay. please do I read. What should okay. we do now? Should we do I read? Yes. Let's do our usual thing to bring him in, Brian, as you and I usually talk. Can I? Oh, can, I bring you, his, can I bring his picture up? Yeah, Have yeah, and and we're oh, yeah. usually with you and I. I, I can't. We'll see if he comes, but it's where you and I start talking, and that's when he comes in. You oh, know? you mean so the one that Michael can't see anything in it? That one? I I don't know. No, it's it doesn't matter about the picture at all. You can put up whatever you want. Oh, I can bring I, it up if you want. 
Yeah, sure. I'll bring it up for a bit anyway, just to introduce him. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Beans can't see anything, so. You want me to bring up the uh, the image of the... Uh, uh, no, no, hold on. I'm just just keep talking. I'm just going to bring the uh, picture up and then I'm screen sharing. I got to look for it. But uh, so carry on talking. Just be a second. How about the image of blazing saddles? With the farting? That thing about the farting was like un uncanny because I did have an ending with blazing saddles and, you know, and pork and beans. Uh, uncanny. And that's funny too. T speaks to their sense of humor, right? Yeah. And not to not to take us ourselves too serious. Right. Okay, almost there. You guys can talk while I'm looking. You know. You know. Maureen, Maureen Johnson says, uh, "Ah, uh, B J L. I'm excited to hear you're having a had a, a near death experience. I'm learning and stepping into trust with understanding that." Sudden cardiac arrest five years ago has been part of my journey. Spiritual growth, Sasquatch, pork and beans, all of it. Yeah. Uh, only, uh, only ever and always about love. Yeah, it's true. It's always about love. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. Um, she's going to write, I would say she will write her, her experience in a book. <laughs> well, that's cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, she's different. She's in a, she's in a different state now. So she's kind of, um, you know, the picture she shows me is that you're putting on a new pair of pajamas. It's kind of funny. The, that's the image is that, um, you hung up the old pajamas that you really liked and they were really comfortable, but that you really since your um, um, experience, you have you're trying on a new pair of pajamas, and they're not quite comfortable yet, but they're almost you're almost there. That's with you know with with your body. So yay! And I don't know why I brought this up. This is what my son gave me. Well, that's awesome. So oh, the, cool. And and I um, he gave it to me like years ago, and I and I lost it for a long time, and then it just showed up again. It's one of my little favorite things. Mr. Beans <laughs> got Mr. Beans got a turtle story, I think, too. But uh, we we just told that a few times, but it's pretty cute. Okay, okay I'm going to bring Ari up his picture. Okay, just quickly. Sure. Uh, so that's a, is that is that the crab or is that a turtle? Um, it's a, this is a walnut. It's coming out of a walnut shell. So it's a little, it's a little elemental or something? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Okay. So I'll let you, uh, connect in there. Uh, and okay. then once, uh, then once you start connecting in then I'll take them away or whatever, so we can, we okay. can watch. You're going to put, put the picture up. All you got to see here is a postage stamp. He's the only guy I know that can't see him. I mean, I got guys at work that are like, uh, like Neanderthals. Like um, that. Oh yeah, man! Like Sam. How I how I see him is I I go through voice with you, with Ari. Um, it's not so much a visual as <coughs> with you and I talk by you and I talking. We just yes. shoot our it, and then he just shows up. So well, quickly, you know, it, it just speaks to the fact that sometimes with the pictures for you, you can see it. Like, and I mean, like I look at it, I see him like clear as a bell. Yeah, you know, this isn't yeah. I see him clear as a bell, and and uh, but I, that's not my forte. I don't see it. Sometimes I don't see that in a lot of pictures. So yeah. anyway, once you get get uh, connected in, I'll take the picture away, and then we'll focus on. Uh, yeah, and I I saw Kevin's like that as well. Mm -hmm. Talk, Brian. Now's the time to talk. No, she's focusing in, trying to connect with Re. But I do that by you talking. So just tell me a quick story and so you don't listen. You have to talk. And oh, okay. Well, he's he's in. um he's uh like I see him as like he is. I see myself as a, like, and I don't want to make it about myself, but I'm like uh, as a facilitator because I I uh, introduce so many different people to him, and then he seems to have a connection with them. I mean, even Kevin has felt already. You felt him. Um, everybody I bring in there, he seems like he is a, a real connector. 
he's he's working trying to open up hearts and um, he's a he's he's working good for he's a hard worker so and he's a I see him as a real wise ancient Sasquatch but and his heart's as big as they all adores and you know what his humor is like so yeah okay he's right there um I've blown behind me um um, and he comes and kind of, I can feel him. And when I talk with you, Ryan, that's the way he's come before. I feel this kind of sparklies on my crown chakra. You know, kind of like where Kevin had his halo. It's kind of like sparkly all around there. That's how I kind of know that he's, he's here. And then sometimes he'll come, uh, I can feel him in my right hand. So there's a connection, uh, like a hand, like a, um, like a high five. <laughs> um, and what he shows me is when I um, oh he wants to come into my throat, but I'm not I'm not going to do that. Okay? Yes, yes, do it, do it, do oh it. Oh my god, do it, okay. Let, please. Okay. And, and we want him to speak. What? What? what okay, go ahead. Brian, leave letter B. <laughs> Well, I have to kind of go through uh, my thing with him, and it, um, and so now my heart's up there. This because I'm a crier, and whoever knows me knows that, and so that's when the tears come. All right. It's not going to be a pork and bean show if somebody didn't cry. <laughs> I've cried on it. <laughs> I've cried listening to what you're saying. I know. We've cried about you too. So it's um um for let's, all let's those that, that tune in that um I'm I'm I don't think I can't really bring him through my throat because it's too big. I don't know if that makes sense. But I guess I could try it. Hell let me take off these glasses just put me on the spot here brian <laughs> well no he, took that spot. He, he suggested it i mean i've learned I my lesson you know if he suggests something i do it i haven't channeled but you know it's like it's trying to channel such a huge thing that you have to be really careful that you don't blow yourself out just quickly the last time that i question what he was telling me to do he cloaked an entire gifting area of mine mm -hmm. so you don't question if he wants to do it give it a, give it a try Barbara 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 oh I have to step out of the way big breath yeah Um, the first thing he does, he climbs into my eyes. Ooh. And um, it's a 360 degree. So the vision is, uh, the vision is 360. So it's just going to like step in. And uh, he's laughing. He thinks it's really funny. Um, and now it's aligning with my chakras. And he's going to bring me up. I'm standing uh, up outside my house, up above my house. <laughs> and the view's much better from here. And it's like, um, he's, he's has me and he's holding me in his hands 
in his arms and he's running along a creek bed and um, he's mm. showing me how fast they can run and he's just he's carrying me and you can see the fish <laughs> he really likes fish and the water and he said, it doesn't matter about anybody else. It's about me and him right now. So I'm just going to go full. Oh. For all that watch and listen, uh, we've created an opening that is uh, beyond uh, perception of time and place. There's a gentleness to this world that has been lost. Which is being recreated with the help of money. For the survival of all that are here to create a world of love. A gentleness that has been lost is now back. of the gentleness of a deer. And the eyes of a deer. A relationship, a coexistence. We will do this once again, uh, for this body is a challenge. And if you have questions. If I have questions or anybody has questions. <clears throat> Somebody else have a question first? I don't really, I kind of. Hello before this the culmination that's my question how long before the culmination of this new softer reality it has begun with this generation I have I have a question I guess it is I mean um, I, I I consider he's obviously my key contact but um I guess I have a relationship with his entire family. I mean, I know that, but I just want to see. He's probably going to laugh and giggle about that. He probably thinks that's the dumbest question ever. But what does he say about that? Like you and him are the same. Um, he's showing me a a cloth that you're cut from the same cloth. Oh. So, are you, is that one done? Because I have a question if, you, if you're, and this is actually just, I don't live that far from Brian. And I, I believe that my clan and his clan are somehow related. So my question for Ari is, are they related? And if so, how? They share deer. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny, man. 
Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, there's no that, that's Ari's humor. <laughs> <laughs> and the whole thing about the deer, and then you guys go and kill it and share it, you know. But as a metaphor, <clears throat> it's an extreme metaphor. But what what about my the rest of my question, Kevin? You're good. You're getting worse than me. You're, you're learning. Awesome. You're learning. You're learning. Excellent. I know it was revenge. It was. But what about the rest of the family? Like you know, like a. Uh, Fortuna and, and dear Raja say and little but and all them they're all kind of have their little part where they like to play around too. What's their part in it? Um, they're able to go back and forth. And that I just dropped it. I'm sorry, I just dropped it's pretty high, so it's um there's a part of me that's there and a part of me that's here. So I'll answer with the part of me that's here. And um and that part is that they're able to, um, they let you in a small world so that you're comfortable to expand and expand and expand and expand. And as you grow and learn and expand, then humanity learns to grow and expand and expand and expand. That's a... Uh... So is Brian responsible for all of the expansion of humanity? <laughs> um, a, a pioneer. A pioneer. We're doomed. <laughs> <laughs> does does Ari have anything more to add or any more questions from him? And he's glad that uh, we're talking again, Brian. Uh, because we kind of lost the relationship a little bit, and he likes it when we talk. He, um, he, he likes it when I talk to anybody who's family. Mm -hmm. I, yeah, he like that's his way, you know. Because mm -hmm. I because because when I talk, I, th I think it's because when I talk to people, like you said, him and I are kind of the same cloth. I'm actually talking from him, from speaking his words. So. Mm -hmm. um, you know, whether it's you, whether it's uh, Frank Oliver Baines, uh, Kevin Royce, or or um, anybody, he, he loves it. Yeah, yeah. and then Michael holds the, the sacred space for all of it to happen. Yeah. And, uh, and what? you what? hold this, you hold the space. You're the container, you hold it, you hold it. For because you have that ability to do that. Oh, I was going to say something really, really. And he <laughs> was to um, send all those that hear this um, love if, if you are in agreement. Mark Roberts has a question. She, he says, uh, I feel they're close by our home every day. I hear from them in many ways that they love to watch over my family. Mm -hmm. They protect us. Uh, we get signs of them close to our home every day. Do you feel this from him, from them? I, d I do. It's, um, um, there's such a joy. They're showing me a, a golden circle around the family that is a joy, like a joy bug zapper <laughs> uh, like when someone comes to that force field when they start to walk um, up the stairs into their home um, that it is set at joy Christina Schwinn says this integration is felt by everyone who tunes in and watches can exactly. you reply to that Exactly. They're sending exactly. out, they're sending out, you can, I can feel it going through my head, but it's like, you know, like in a, a dolphin, like a sonar, it's like a sonar going through my hand right now to um, all those that hear this and they'll feel it and they'll know it. They'll respond to it. And if they tune in, they'll know what their each individual next step is in a knowingness way. They don't need a psychic to do that. They'll just know. 
Christina says that's to me. That's funny to me. Okay, that's for me. That part, the funny part. They don't need a side game, you know, like that. Go ahead. Um, Katja, boundary, boundary, boundary. What does Christina say she has something more to say. And Christina Schwinn says, for me, the biggest thing that happened here is not the information, but the integration that Barbara Jean Lindsay just embodied. It's more impactful than the mind can touch. Thank you, thank you, thank you, darling, for <laughs> being willing and able to help our human family in this way. So that's a big, big ups from Christina. Yeah. And thank you for holding us three chumps up there. <laughs> Yeah, I went outside my uh, comfortable zone to do this in a way because I haven't channeled the last time I channeled. You know, I died. So uh, what did what did it feel? Uh, is Ari still with oh. you? He's gone now. Are you still with? Uh, him? Last time you channeled, you died, and 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 at that, Brian interrupted. <laughs> yeah, because I got in before you said it, so actually you interrupted. So he's right there. He's in a. We're in a different. You know, I just wondered what did it feel like. Was it really? What does it feel like to have him like? I mean, it's the energy field right now. It's like I'm in a circle, a globe. He's standing right there. He has my hand. This is, so I don't know what my hand's doing, but that he has my hand. My hand okay. is his hand, and there's a sonar pulse going through it. Um, but my question was, what did it feel like when you were fully integrated with him, when he actually was trying to speak through you, and you were like? It's, it's, uh, I think I'll have to acclimate to it. Okay. It, it's too it's it's too much that it would blow me out. So right. I have to work with him a little bit, and then I think I could carry on beans. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm holding space. Well, you were asking some questions though. Is Christina done, or is she? Uh, does she have any more questions? I did think I already re already read it. Okay, what was the next one you were going to ask? That was it, I think. Oh. But uh, Christina, what a great, great uh, comment. Unbelievable. <clears throat> she's she's a very sensitive, feeling person. Yeah, I love her. She's going to come I, on. I think she'd probably have a hard time making a bad comment knowing her. <laughs> All right, so we're going to yeah. end, end, end this. And um, we'd like to uh, use for your show, for the Poor Convenience Show. And for Kevin and uh, for Brian and for uh, our beautiful Michael and for all of your listeners, um, we're just going to just sense a whole healing vibration here. And this is where we meet, is in the stillness. Oh, feeling. And so it is. <laughs> and uh, hey. and who does, <laughs> who does Ari like better, Pork Cunningham or Frank Olive? <laughs> Just go. <laughs> I'm joking. Tony's got another question. If you go ahead, ahead. go ahead. Go go with Tony. Yeah. Tony Maples. Yeah. Go ahead. Ask one more question, please. Why did the male sass walk across my front door and look right in my eyes like it was looking into my soul? That's kind of a deep, a personal question. Um, because that's what he does, right? And and there's an exchange there. It isn't a one way. When the Sasquatch comes and look right through you, you also look right through him. <coughs> That's where it all happens. It's right, right there. Yeah, I can feel that. Mm -hmm. 
Boy, you know, when RE first came in, my head was like, I could feel it like spinning. Mm. Like it was something was really, really weird going on. But he's in your pen shop, right? But you know, uh, guys, if anybody has any more questions, you have a few more minutes. Barbara, okay. do, you, or do you want to wrap it up or are we good? Or? But okay, it's your show. Well, I mean. I, I would like to briefly say about my experience, if you don't mind. because um, Absolutely. It, Talk about your experience. And if anybody else listening to the show has some more stuff, I, you know, can probably fit you in. So just mm -hmm. go for I it. I was planning on channeling. And so when it started to come through, I hit fear. And, I'm, and that's unusual for me. But... Um, because I'm pretty courageous, but it, it hit that old programming of the death, and I hadn't looked at that in a long time since 1989, really. And so, um, and when I say I haven't done channeling since death, that's really not true because I did study how to channel I, I, for like five years, but but I hadn't really, I haven't done it since what 1989, since 1994. So I haven't really, and I used to could full body channel, right? Um, and then I would uh, learn how to just let them, the being just hook into the back of the vocal cords and just talk through there. Or I could have them, and what Ari did, we were kind of talking back and forth of what I couldn't and what I felt comfortable with. So he really respected my space and what um, I was comfortable doing. And what I found, I wasn't comfortable full body channeling him, okay? But how how much comfort did I have? And, and what he ended up, it started to talk through the throat, but it was, the adjustment was right. And so he ended up uh, working through my hand. And I, I haven't really done that before. So that was, for me, that was interesting, where he just laid his hand on my hand and my hand became his hand. And the transmission to, to the world, to your listeners came through that way. And it was like a, a sonar. It kept showing like like a sonar beam coming out of it. Um, could you but, feel it, actually feel the hand? Oh, yeah, I, could, I couldn't move. I don't know what my hand did. I look interesting to see what it does. I don't know if you saw it on screen or not either, but it, it, uh, it wasn't my hand anymore. So that was kind of cool. Um, and so it'd be interesting. I wouldn't mind working with this a little bit if that's, you know, what I'm uh, supposed to do. So it's interesting. Um, yeah. Talk about when he took you for a ride, because I could actually see that. <laughs> I was watching that. <laughs> well, he I just, saw the fish. Yeah. He had me in his arm, underneath his arm, like that. And my head's here, my feet's here. And he's just going up like up that creek bed up that mountain up that creek bed and he's like going for it and he wants me to i could smell everything um and i do a lot through smell and and he was wanting me that was his gift to me was to smell it to smell the creek to smell the bushes to, nice to smell the water to it was really wonderful i really enjoyed it and for me, I didn't have to work for it. That's what he was laughing about. He's just going to carry me because I'm. I always tell him I'm built for comfort, not for speed. You know. So, so he has me, and he's like going. And then from there, it, it went um, more in it, like interdimensional at that point. It would almost be like King Kong and Fay Ray. I mean, he's like yeah, he's like twelve yeah. and a half feet tall and like extremely broad, like yeah. just taller yeah. guys. But he's like. He's he's like built. Yeah, so you would be have to. Be, I'm I'm not a little woman. I'm a bigger woman, and so you know, for him, it was like I was like nothing, you know. So it was interesting. <coughs> Do we have any more questions come up? We we have one more, but I want to ask you how you want to run this because um, Barbara should probably tell her story, right? The things she wanted to share. Okay. Okay. So I'll tell you what. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, Kev. Let's let's in, invite people to uh, get a couple stories, and we'll try to fit a few in at the end. But let's make sure we get Barbara's story in. So yeah. we'll, we'll keep your questions coming, and we'll get to as many as we can. Okay. So go ahead, Barbara. Uh, yeah. Let's. I don't know what story I was going to talk about. I'm still kind of coming down. You know, I'm, my body's grounded, but I'm still kind of coming down. So. 
So I don't know what my story was. I don't know what story I was going to talk about. I got the impression you were going to talk about your story around the Sasquatch and your experiences with them, but I that was an assumption on my part. It's kind of the feeling I got, but I could be very obviously wrong. Well, I um, I and this what just comes through now. It's I don't know if it's a story, but that all of us that show up here, we're all ambassadors. All, each and every one of us um, hold, um, you know, a, a door for everyone. And um, it's important and not to be taken for granted and to do something with the time that we have. It sounds like, who says that? I think that's from some movie though, but that's what comes up. Um, yeah, I'm really thankful, grateful to be a part of your show and a part of this movement, a part of this um, love vibration. Yeah, change. This change is so needed. It's been, it's been waiting for so long, and it's happening. Yeah. Well, right? yeah, Ari showed me that love vibration. That's where. I mean, he, he, he could talk on it, He's yeah. still, but he, I'm he, about that love that. vibration, that's every, the, all yeah. the change said this that was we require is in that love vibration. Yeah. When you said this was important, could you take it another step, like how important do you see it, or the cosmic, or the personal, well, or the global? How all important all, is this? What, it's what all of those things that, and I, I, you know, when you hear people say, now is the time, you know, um, now is the time. And it, it's, it's, it's not only an individual momentum, but definitely a global momentum. Okay, so um, what we're doing here, it's being done in Tibet, it's being done Australia, it's being done Africa, it's being done. So it's, it's, it's a global movement, a huge, huge global movement. And it's important to, this is that foundation that's being built. I think that's what you talked about earlier, if I remember, Brian, but it's, we're, we're building a foundation here as a jumping off for this next big steps. And that's where the, the we actually, we've changed, we've already made that movement where it's from, from a change where we're just receiving, but now we get to give and that's, that's the link that we've been kind of missing. And now that that connection is there where we get to really, really move it, move this along. Um, sometimes I think things happen so slow on the earth plane, but that's, that's an old modality. And the new modality is smoother. It's easier. And it's, it's again, where it's already happened. And we as a group, we get to just, walk into this and have it and it's joyous and it's celebration and it is a lot of work at the same time and that work is is um to be open in the stillness to be guided as to what your next steps are mm. okay i have can i i am i okay to speak yeah, uh, um, one thing. can I just say one more yes. thing? Okay, and it's because um, it's that spiral of us, right? Where we just it keeps spiraling out to that very edge of the universe as we know it, our multiverse, way out there, out there. And then we get to, then it spirals back in. Mm. And then it, and it picks up all, all of that, love all of that manifestation and all of those thoughts, all those dreams, all those desires, all that, along with the earth itself. And then it spirals down into the earth, our mother, our our Gaia, our beloved, our, our uh, sustenance, you know, our, um, oh, so much love there. And then, then we come back up and then we can walk in that balance between those okay Done. so uh, before we get down to some uh, some questions from the people um i okay. was gonna say so you know like i know Ari's gonna laugh at this because i you know 
titles, you know, titles are just titles, but how does he see himself, like, it, according to our definition, would he be like, well, like a clan leader, a medicine man, an ancient one, uh, what, what, what is he? None of those. He is who he is. <laughs> well, that's the best answer ever. <laughs> see, I told, I knew he'd say that. <laughs> I, I'm getting all emotional now. <laughs> that's what he wants to say? Yeah. <laughs> you know what? That is so How true. can you say so much without saying anything at the same time? What a perfect answer. And is that all he's going to say? What yeah. did you say? I missed it. He is who he is. I said, what is he? An ancient one? A teacher? A medicine man? How does he consider himself according to our definitions or words? Which I, which I know he doesn't like titles. And he says, he is who he is. Well, that's a good one. Yeah, that's the best answer ever. That's like Popeye. <laughs> that's something like that, didn't he? I am that I am. I am that I am. I am that I am. I am what I am and that's all I am. Right, right. <laughs> okay, you know what generation we belong to? <laughs> generation where we can't watch any card, where we can't watch our whatever. So go ahead. Go, any Stop, more questions? Brian. Yes, I'm stopping right there. Go ahead and uh, any more questions? There is one more. Mm -hmm. See, people is, don't listen to me. I said, stack up some questions, guys. Well, okay. Anyhow, Glor Gloria Maddock is um, asking, can you tell me why I saw the Sasquatch in Louisiana and what the message was? Thank you. What movie? Uh, her name is Gloria Maddock. And, and she, she says, can you tell me why I saw a Sasquatch in Louisiana and what the message was. Okay. Am I not coming through, by the way? I, you know, no, you're perfect. I'm, okay. I'm still acclimating. Okay, so you know, the first thing that she chose me is uh, maybe I'm getting hungry. You know? <laughs> but it's it's um, catfish in a frying pan and it's where, it's where um, she sees him through smell. That her contact with them is through smell. That's really the first sense with them is through smell. Uh, and having to do with a like a orange blossoms, some kind of blossoms that smell like orange blossoms, but they're not orange blossoms. There's some kind of a tree, um, not a citrus tree. It's a tree. She'll probably know what the tree is, um, but it's not jasmine. But it's something like that. Um, and uh, with her, and I'm going through, I have to go through the, the filters, right? Um, it's a, um, a weeping willow tree. And that, that weeping willow tree um, catched or caught her tears um, for her. Um, and the Sasquatch um, hold the trees. So I'm not sure exactly what that is, but that's where I went with it. And uh, there is an end to her tears. Oh, that's a good message. Any more questions, Kevin? There are none at the moment. <clears throat> Barbara, why don't you leave us with one of your favorite stories of hope and uh, love and whatever. And it doesn't have to be Sasquatch related, but you've been in this love game and uh, connections game for a long time. Leave us with something uh, okay. really special to your heart, you know, like... Uh, it, oh, I'll, I'll get something okay. for that. So what do you think of her, guys? I'm really care for her. She's <laughs> She's awesome. She's, she's hey, Kevin, did you do did you do the Stacy Johnson Emmons already? Hold on a minute. Let me just scroll back up. Okay. Hang on. We might have another question first. Okay. That's your only job, Kev. Well, I don't even have that job. I this is I'm oh. being nice. <laughs> Wait. Okay. <laughs> I was really counting on you to like keep the questions like. Stacey Johnson Emmons mm -hmm. says, do the forest people or the fae have a message for me? Yeah, we got that one. Okay. This so is that's the hats. Right. This is all about the hats. You're oh, here. Yeah. Oh, the hat. Okay, I remember. Yeah. 
hats off to you for not remembering. Okay, so so this, oh, can you see that? Oh, no, take your, take your, um, no, no, take your, your screen off. Just go back to your regular thing. Okay, there you go. That's good. So this one, I was at uh, Kelly, Kelly, um, Kelly's um, Psychic Sasquatch reunion in, 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 uh, Chihuahua. Chihuahua, but it was in Kettle Falls, in yeah. Kettle Falls. Uh, in 2020, um, there was this group of these amazing little girls. I don't know if you happen to be there. I'll be speaking actually at the uh, her Sasquatch uh, reunion coming up in May. Uh, so it's uh, I'm really looking forward to that. But there was a group of little girls there that were just so wonderful. And um, I gave them each a copy of my book. And I signed it to each one of them. I gave them, with their mother's permission, a little brief. Um, reading in each of the books. So I gave, I think I gave, there were like maybe seven little girls. I don't remember. I gave them each book. So as I'm reading, they gifted me this. And oh, it's so the, sweet. the sweetest, so much love in it. It's just, and they didn't know, but right before the Sasquatch conference, I lost my little dog. Mm. And she was a little Scotty. Oh. A little black Scotty, and her name was Mary Margaret. And so, you know how spirit gives you these gifts in the most wild, you can't think of it kind of way. And so these little girls um, brought me so much love and a, a memory of my sweet little Mary Margaret. And so um, I just, you know, our, our, our children are just so amazing. And I just want to make sure we, you know, take time to acknowledge them and their love and what they bring to 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 us as just by being who they are so that's my story i'm sticking to it <laughs> beautiful okay. any more closing comments guys for barbara or are we uh gloria maddock mm -hmm. she said, she's she's giving some feedback she says thank you so much barbara i was crying as you told me the message that they were holding my tears mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um, oh, I'm glad I could be of help. I always want to be of service. My whole life's been of service. So um, I have a show next Friday um, on my, I have a Cosmic Oracle show, if you don't know about it. Um, can I talk about that? Oh, oh, yeah. oh, oh thanks for coming, guys. And this is, I'm just joking. <laughs> hey, by, by the way, yeah, I want you to talk about it because uh, we're, we're actually going to be guests on your show. And I, I didn't write, I don't on. remember when that is. So you can I don't remember that. either. But I'll let you know. Um, and so I do that every Friday night from five to seven. It's my sixth year. Um, and so I started doing this before it was really um, sort of popular. And for a while, I thought of maybe uh, changing it, but um, I'm going to stay with it. So, uh, so come join me on uh, Fridays uh, live on Revolution Radio or on Facebook. And uh, I also have books. This is my book that talks about my, people don't know I'm an author, you know, I'm just an interviewer. So uh, it's called Dying for the Light. And uh, it's about my uh, near death experience when I died and was in a coma for two and a half days. And it was my first time I went up on a spaceship that I could wow. remember. And um, that was during my NDE. And wow. so I talk about this story in my yeah. book. And then, I, I have a, a a little book called The White Light Meditation. You can see that. But Pull the back of your face. Okay. And Pull this book face. is architect there. There you go. And you this go. is the meditation that I was given uh, by the my the council on the other side. So mm. and then this is see I've been busy. And wow. this is a book called Seized by Sekhmet. And uh, oh, I remember that one. Yeah. Goddess Revolution. And this is a compilation of stories of people who've had experience with Sekhmet in this time. Uh, she's a very ancient thing, but also she comes to people just like Sasquatch comes to people. There's also a, a very much a whole movement of seized by Sekhmet all across the world as well. So I talk about that. And 
it's a, a lot of, well, you can't see, but a lot of pictures and photos and that sort of thing. And, and if people forget, they can just probably Google your name and find all that, right? You Google my name, it's Barbara Jean Lindsay, and it's uh, J-E-A-N, and it's L-I-N-D-S-E-Y, and uh, I'm all over Google, and then I have a, a Barbara Jean Lindsay com. And awesome. if they want to, if they want to get a, a fantastic reading from you, yeah, is, uh, you can find you on Facebook or in the, uh, your they can uh, private message me on Facebook, and then they can also on my website. There's a way they can reach me there as well, and no. tell me, and I'll give them a discount if they'd like to. Uh, I usually charge for my readings, so that's how I make my living. Yeah. Um, but if they wanted to, I could give them a discount. Yeah, I'll make, I'll make you a sneaky deal. I'll make you a sneaky deal on the air. Mm -hmm. You should tell people that they mention the pork and bean show. Mm -hmm. Give them a, I don't know, ten percent or whatever, twenty, whatever kind of discount. I'll give them a discount for sure. Yeah, because you guys hey, are my I'm all for that. I'm just kidding. <laughs> so thank you. It's been an honor to be on, and um, I'm looking forward to where all this is going. So. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Will Thank you, you will you please um come back on? I mean, you, you sure. come back on regularly once in a while, like once every, you know, two, three two months. months or yeah, not, not for a whole show, maybe, but just uh, yeah, for an hour. Or something. Yeah, I'd love to. Thank you. <clears throat> this was a really fun show. I, I don't I really. I, don't, I, was, I was crying when Re came in. I, yeah, like, it really was like it was. <laughs> Thank you, Re. Thank you, Barbara Jean Lindsay. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Re. Uh, thank you. Brian, uh, where, where can they find where can they find this recording on YouTube? Well, once on uh, the um... Dude, if you had just had a little sign or a little video or something, the pork and bean show or the pork and bean show or uh, Sasquatch BC, the true story. I, I I do a little edit of all these videos, and uh, oh. I think I'm good. And, and I know what I already know. I already got an idea what music I'm going to be including in this one. Tracks of my tears. Oh, good good Lord. Well, hey, we're all crying and everything. So, what do you mean, man? I know that's too heavy for you, Kev, but I know, I know. Yeah, where, where is it? Do tell. Get to the point. Where is it on YouTube? Is it just, <laughs> it's just an imaginary uh, it, psychic connection or something? It is, yes, because I haven't edited it yet. It, it is imaginary for now. You have an I, entire channel filled with shows. I just said that. Hmm. Is it What's the name of it? Sasquatch it... PC, The True Story on YouTube. Oh, okay. Well, and what's so... the name of your, your fantastic uh, cosmic... <clears throat> the Cosmic Oracle YouTube channel. And I almost got yeah, yeah, people. I always forget to tell people. After all of my shows, um, I put it up on YouTube as well under the Cosmic Oracle show. Yeah. I always have a thousand I, people. But I forget I, to tell I, people. I can... It's um, important I, to tell people to, to go to the YouTube channel because then you have all that content there. I, I don't know why people are trying to hide their light under the bed. And um, and uh, where can we find your channels and information there, Mr. Beans? I don't count. <laughs> How do you do today? We're going we're gonna to throw you some crumbs. Where, where will we find you? If you want to get in touch with me, I'm on Facebook under Michael Harrell and I'm on YouTube under Michael Harrell. And and your amazing work that you do. And I do amazing work sometimes. As much as I ridicule him, he actually does the, the odd thing that's pretty good. So check him out. So I, every, thanks, everybody. Thanks for coming. And uh, What were you going to say, Kevin? You were going to say something. Oh, I was just going to say, and I can give a nice plug for your um, Cosmic Oracle channel. I've watched some of those videos, and I was very impressed. I, I really enjoyed them. Well, oh. Kevin, may I make a suggestion? I, yeah. I suggest that you would be a, a, an, an amazing guest on the Cosmic Oracle show. Ah, uh, maybe. <laughs> All right. All right. Thank you. Yeah. I, uh, I get it. Yeah. Let's do it. That would be it. a show I would tune into. And so okay. on that note, everybody, much love Perfect. to everybody. Thank you for everybody for listening. Uh, thanks to all the pork and beaners up there who are crazy enough to hang in with us. And uh, we got thanks new a lot of we got yeah. new beaners. From uh, Pork Cunningham and Frank. Ooh, my brains. It's the Pork and Bean Show, and I didn't even do the intro, so I had to really emphasize the ending. Thanks a lot for coming, guys, and we love you all. Bye, guys. Thank you. Sky.
I look down on all the people looking up at the big sky. Everybody's pushing one another around. The big sky feels sad when you see the children scream and cry. But the big sky too big to let it get him down. going to court next week. I have been selected for jury duty. It's kind of an insane case. 6,000 ants dressed up as rice and robbed a Chinese restaurant. I don't think they did it. I know a few of them and they wouldn't do anything like that.